Don't get me wrong, I definitely enjoy fixing things in my home, but I'm also a sucker for any DIY that will improve the look of my home. That's exactly what I'm doing today with Sean Bueno in the Ram Truck Workshop. We've got a beautiful cabinet door here, okay? But it gets a little boring and mundane, so I'm gonna show you how to install glass in the middle panel of the cabinet door. And you can do this to a couple different cabinets in your kitchen to have something interesting to look at. A project like this one can add character and personality to your home. And the best part, it won't cost you an arm and a leg. So the first phase of this project is to remove the panel. And for that, we're gonna need a small drill, a router, and a jigsaw. I also brought some clamps here. Sean also brought safety glasses, glazier's points, silicone, a hammer, putty knife, and a piece of glass. Now Sean, where would we get a piece of glass like this cut? At any local hardware store. They'll cut it to the exact size that you need. Okay. Now do we have more than one for this project? We don't, so you better not drop it. So the first step is we're gonna remove the hinges off of the cabinet door. Just remove Shh. these four screws. As you notice, they're tiny little screws, so you wanna keep those in a safe spot so you sure. don't lose them. We use a couple of clamps to secure the cabinet door to our workbench, and then it's time to get cutting. We're gonna go back to our drill, and insert a small wood bit. We're just gonna cut a couple holes at the bottom here. Okay. So they can be anywhere on the corner of the cabinet door. You just don't wanna get too close to the frame. And now I'm just gonna cut a line with the jigsaw and connect the holes. After Sean cuts our first line, I repeat the process on the other side of the door. I'm pretty sure that's the straightest jigsaw line I've, <laughs> I've ever cut. You did nice work there. There you go. We finish up the other two sides until the panel pops right out of our cabinet. And now we're gonna work on getting these edges out. So now this next part, we've gotta be really careful because we're gonna be using the jigsaw and we're gonna try to get as close to the frame as possible without damaging the frame of the door. Sean uses the jigsaw to edge the inside of the entire panel, loosening up the excess wood until it easily pulls out. Then we get to work creating a ledge for our piece of glass. Sean drills a shallow hole into the corner of the frame big enough to fit the router bit. I want that bit to get into that hole, and then I want to tighten up the wing nut. I went extremely slow, I took my time, and now we made a nice straight cut and we're gonna rotate the frame again. I want you to try the router now. Really? Okay, step on this side. Sure. You're a very trusting individual, Sean. Okay, turn it off. Wait till it stops spinning and then pull it off. Okay. You did a nice job. Thank you. Sean is just full of compliments today. We've routered out the frame. We have a nice ledge for the glass to go on. Why don't you pass the glass over and we'll see if it fits and it fits fine. There we go. So now the next step is we're gonna put a couple of points in to hold the glass in place. So I've got the point and I'm gonna try and stick it into the wood a little bit with my hand. I'm gonna take the putty knife and I'm gonna slightly tap the putty knife and you can see the point is going into the wood. And the answer is no. Correct. Do I, do I want to do one? You no. do not even have to ask. No. Okay. Now how many of these do you think we're gonna to need to put in here? I'd like to put four points in. We. I mean, Sean taps all four points in until our glass sits securely on the ledge. Then he applies a thin bead of silicone along the perimeter of the glass. When we're done applying the silicone, remember this takes about 24 hours 24 to cure. Hours. So we wanna be really careful with the door. We certainly don't want to reinstall it until the silicone is nice and dry. This is how it should look. A nice, even bead of caulk. The glass is nice and stable. You're gonna have a great cabinet door. A project like this could definitely bring new life into an old kitchen without breaking the bank. The glass costs around $10, and if you already own the power tools, the other supplies should set you back less than 20 bucks. All of this cutting boosted the project into the intermediate category, but it still only took us about one hour to complete one cabinet door. What a cool project. I actually think I'm gonna try this one out at home. The wife's gonna have a nice place to show off her china, and I can show off my beer mugs. <laughs>